Oh, well, welcome back. We are capping off a very tense week as we take another live look over the group of protesters. This is in the Logan Square neighborhood at Fullerton and Lawndale, where a group of uh, what's estimated to be in the thousands uh, has broken off into several smaller groups, Natalie. Right, but peaceful protests so far tonight, so that's certainly good news. And we want to check back in now with our crew who has been following the huge protests in Logan Square tonight. I know Brittany has been detailing what has been going on since before the 5 o'clock hour. Yes, Br Brittany, what are you seeing now? Well, Natalie and Anthony, we are at uh, Block Point from police here. There's a few dozen police. They, we are right at the intersection of Wrightwood and Central Park. We've been moving throughout Logan Square uh, trying to track down those protesters. Right now, though, there are lots of roads blocked in the area, not only to cars, but also just to people, any foot traffic. Uh, you can see here some remnants of signs perhaps from some of the marchers. This one says, who do you protect? Not far from here, another sign says, justice for Adam. Just a few of the many uh, people out here taking to the streets, demanding for change. Let's take a look uh, now at Sky Fox. We know that there are a couple hundred people still at this point tonight marching through Logan Square. Uh, they were going east on Fullerton, uh, just brief briefly got off uh, from Hamlin there. And again, if you're planning on coming to this Logan Square area, I expect a lot of road closures here. This group has been out since about 530, if not a little bit earlier. So this evening has started with a rally in Logan Square Park. Several speakers, one after one, came up and spoke, uh, demanding justice for 13-year-old Adam Toledo following the release of the fatal police shooting video. Uh, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of emotions. Emotions ran very, very high today. So several people spoke and it seemed like from five, you know, about five o'clock when we got there, the crowd just continued to grow and grow and grow to at least a thousand people, if not more. Uh, taking to the streets, they started walking uh, on North Milwaukee Avenue and then going through. You can see right now there's actually some people here uh, that are actually giving some water bottles to the few dozen police officers that are on the street here right at Wrightwood and Central Park. Actually, some of those officers right now clapping. Looks like we have a few young people out here giving water bottles. These police officers here, some of them on bikes, some of them have helmets uh, with shields on. Again, as you can see here, people out in the community supporting the police, but plenty of people here in these crowds that were calling to abolish the Chicago Police Department. Some people calling on Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot to resign. So, so many emotions, opinions following the release of this video of the fatal police shooting of 13-year-old Adam Toledo. But again, the community here coming out to support that family and some, as you can see here, coming out to support these Chicago police officers. Very, very clear that these protesters want change and so far it has remained very peaceful. Anthony and Natalie. And that's what uh, the Toledo family has asked for. Yep. All right, thanks so much, Brittany.